hope everyone is doing great. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to calculate stream power index that is SPI in ArcGIS. So stream power index is a measure of ROC power of flowing water. SPI is calculated based upon slope and contributing area. So when we are finally arriving the SPI, so we'll be getting a negative positive values. So negative values indicates deposition, positive value indicates erosion. So if you are getting a value a zero, so then there is no erosion or deposition taking place. So these are the steps which we are going to follow up. First is our download them or DTM data. So I have made a video on it. I'll be giving it in the description as well as I'll be putting it in the cards. You can just check it out. And next is we are going to project the raster from GCS to PCS using our project raster tool and after that we are going to do flow direction, flow accumulation, slope in percentage. Finally we are going to calculate the stream power index using this formula. So let us go back to ArcGIS and you can see this is my DEM data SRTM DEM 30 meter resolution. So open Arc toolbox. Here you can find the option data management tools. Open the tool and you can find the option raster above that you can find projection and transformation you can see here projection and transformation open it you can see the option raster once again open the tools inside raster you'll be finding the option project raster double click and open the tool so if you find it uh, difficult to navigate in the arc toolbox you can also search for the tools you can see here search button you can click and just uh, type the tool name for example project raster you can directly search here you'll be getting the tool uh, within a few seconds so let me close this here we are going to input our uh, dem data so this is SRTM dem which is of 30 meter resolution so after inputting you can see the input coordinate system so it is now in a GCS WGS84 and you can see output raster data sets where uh, you can specify where to save the file so projected I'm going to save it as projected hit the button save and the output coordinate system here I am going to choose projected coordinate system UTM so this is the projected coordinate system for this imagery area specific and after doing it hit the button OK in order to process the raster data so we have successfully projected the raster so let me remove the previous image so once again go to the arc toolbox come down spatial analysis tool and we are going to use hydrology first we are going to fill the stem data our input raster will be projected so let me save it to a desired location save click ok so the fill has been completed successfully let me remove the projected file and keep on the fill so if there is any gap, the fill uh, will be applied successfully so that the gaps will be removed or somewhere uh, if there is a peak uh, in the surface value, it will be normalized. So let us move on to the next step. Let us flow direction. So you can find the tool over here, flow direction based in the hydrology section. We have to input our fill data that is fill dem.
flow direction hit the button save let us check out what is the error it is showing so we have to reduce the length of this uh, raster name okay now it is fine let me click ok so you can see here the flow direction has been successfully done so let us move to the flow accumulation once again go back to the arc tool box and you can see the option flow accumulation double click and open the tool here we are going to input the flow direction that is a previously done layer and let us uh, save it to a particular location flow accumulation hit the button save click ok so the flow accumulation has been successfully completed you can see here so we just move on to the slope once again go to the arc toolbox come down and you can find the option surface in the below in surface we are going to use slope double click and open the tool and our input data will be fill data and uh, choose the area where to save it slope slope in degrees so you can see here slope in degree save and click ok so we have successfully done the slope you can see here slope in percentage sorry everyone so it should be <coughs> slope should be in a percentage uh, i have just put it in degrees fill slope degrees so we are going to put percentage so we required in percentage not degree sorry save it so here instead of degree we are going to use percentage in rise and click of the uh, option ok so we have got it let me remove the slope in degrees you can see now it is in degrees sorry now it is in percentage slope in percentage extremely sorry and finally we are going to calculate the stream power index so for that once again go to the arc toolbox and you can see the option map algebra in that you can find map algebra is here in that you can find raster calculator double click and open the tool so in condition we are going to first use the log and first will be flow accumulation plus 0 0.001 so close bracket now we are going to multiply it open the bracket so we are going to use slope in percentage divided by 100 plus 0 0.001 here after divided by slope divided by 100 just uh, close the bracket now you can just see the formula this is the formula and you can just save it now click on SPI let me give it give the name SPI and hit the button save click OK to continue so we have got the results so this is the let me remove the other uh, layers you 
you can see here. Now let me change the symbology. Right click on it and go to the option properties. Here you can find the option symbology. Let me change the color ramp. So I'm going to use this color ramp. So if you want to know this name, the name of this color ramp, you can just uh, yeah, you can just uh, right click on here and instead of uh, graphic view, you can just unselect it. You can find it accordingly here. You can also uh, choose this based on the name list. So let me turn it back to the graphic view. And let me choose the color ramp over here. So I have already mentioned that the negative values represents deposition, positive value represents erosion. And let me apply and click OK. So you can see here. Let me zoom into the virtual location. You can see the red color indicates there is a erosion is taking place, and the green color indicates deposition is taking place. So you can easily uh, clip the uh, raster layer. Let me add my study area file first. So this is my study area. You can easily clip it. Go to our toolbox. So let me close the projection and transformation. So once you open the data management tool, below that you can find the option. Below projection and transformation, you can find the option raster. Uh, go to the raster processing and select the tool. So you can find the option clip, double click and open the tool. So our input layer will be SPI. So we are going to clip it using our study area file. This is our study area shape file. Use uh, input feature for clipping geometrical, maintain clipping extent in environments. Raster analysis, you can select the for mask, you can use study area. Now click OK. If you want, you can change, change the output location. Now let me click OK. So you can see here we have got the results. We have clipped it successfully. Now right click and go to the option properties. Here once again let me select the color ramp. If you want you can use hill shade effect also. Apply, click OK. Now you can just see here. We have successfully created the stream power index. So if you have any doubts in this, please do ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching.